Meanwhile, a conundrum tonight for the new owner of this bodega, where gang members brutally murdered a teenager who aspired to become a cop, Junior Guzman. Now, the man who recently bought the bodega now struggling with the question to open it up or not. There is much controversy in the Bronx about exactly what to do. Hi, with News reporter Kimberly Richardson live in the Belmont section where a national night out event is set to begin soon. Kim? Well, Bill, the block party here on East 187th Street is taking on new meaning this year. Many here are still mourning the loss of Junior Guzman Feliz. The 15-year-old was murdered outside of a bodega not far from here. That shop has been closed since the June 20th attack, but is about to reopen. Today, I did meet with the new owner, who is pleading with folks here to give him a chance. I try to do the best from my, from my heart. Let's see what happens. Wagner Baez has good reason to be concerned. There was a counter here. Before, yes. You took that out. I took it out. We have something over here, too. This is the very same shop where Lissandro Guzman Feliz ran into, trying to get away from his attackers. The same bodega in that surveillance video, where you see the 15 year old, while gravely injured, stumbling out of only to die a block away. Wagner is the new owner, but understands this will not be your typical grand opening. I only say to the community, please, I need one, one chance, you know, because I working hard for, for a long time to go. And it's only I say, one chance to stay here. The corner store is at 183rd and Bathgate, where in June, Junior, as friends called him, was butchered. Wagner didn't know the prior owner, who many feel didn't do enough to protect Junior from the suspects, though he insisted he did told the teen to hide behind the counter. Is this the same counter? Yes, it's encounter, yes. Many in this Bronx neighborhood hope the new owner would turn this space into a church, a community center, anything but another bodega. I personally would feel like I'm walking into a crime scene still and it's always going to be there, my face, my heart and everything. This father of three empathizes with folks here was crystal clear when I asked him about the murder. I tried to to forget in my, in my memory that happened that night, so... Now, Wagner owns two more bodegas here in the Bronx. He hopes to open this one tomorrow. He tells me he did reach out to Junior's family, asked them if he could name the shop after the teenager. They turned down his offer, something he says he respects. He says over time he does plan to make small changes within the store in an effort to make people feel more comfortable.